Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about variable versus absorption costing. So absorption costing um, assigns all manufacturing costs of the product. So this would include direct materials, direct labor, variable overhead, and fixed overhead are all included in the product cost. The reason for this is that um, if you use absorption costing, then you you're, uh, believe or you think that more the most accurate way to track your um, the cost of your inventory is to include and absorb fixed overhead as a product cost, not a period cost. So not just something that has to do with the time frame, but actually absorbing it into the cost of your product in and of itself. Um, so once, you know, when you're actually manufacturing, you would actually apply um, the overhead to your inventory using a predetermined overhead rate. And we'll talk about how to calculate that in a different video. Um, and this also means that fixed overhead is an inventoryable cost, meaning it is uh, it is in my fixed uh, finished goods and it would end up in my cost of goods sold. Whereas if you use variable costing, variable costing stresses the difference between fixed and variable. So the product costs in this case are only going to be either direct or variable. Um, so that means that the fixed overhead is not um, included in the cost of the actual product. Um, instead, it would be included in the period cost. Um, so it would go just on the face of the financial statement on a line in total in and of itself. So I think the easiest way to visualize this, and I think this table's in your, in your book, I know it's on the PowerPoints, is absorption costing. My product cost is direct materials, direct labor, and variable overhead. Now notice those three things are exactly the same across the board uh, for absorption variable. What changes is this fixed overhead. And the absorption costing fixed overhead goes in my product cost. Under variable costing fixed overhead goes in my period cost. But also do notice that my selling expenses and administrative expenses, no matter what, are period costs. So there really is only one thing that we flip uh, between one and the other. Um, <clears throat> and it really just has to do, like I said, with what goes into my uh, product cost. But this makes a big difference because my product cost is not only things that I sell. It's also the value of my inventory, the value of my work and process inventory, the value of my finished goods inventory, and ends up in my cost of goods sold. So... Um, that's where we differentiate between uh, variable um, and absorption costing. Absorption absorbs fixed overhead into the cost of the product. Variable costing does not. It separates fixed overhead out into a separate um, or into period cost instead of being a part of the actual product cost.